Hey guys, welcome to another show on Mondays. I am pretty excited right now because I got the news that I'm going to go see Ant-Man tomorrow. Woo! Uh, for, for, for reference, today is the 6th? Yeah, it's the 6th. Uh, tomorrow's the 7th. This is going up on the 13th, so you probably have already seen my Ant-Man review, but anyway pretty hype about that. The reason I'm bringing you this video today is because I got some new stuff um, in the room and I just wanted to talk about Ultimate Spider-Man for a little bit, but I'll get to that later. So let's let's start over here. I'm not entirely sure. I probably should have watched the room tour before this, but I'm not entirely sure what's new. I know that this is new right here. I just finished it. The Fantastic Four Omnibus. It's the, it's the Hickman one. Yeah, the Hickman Omnibus. Volume 1, um, so this, now, this shelf is completely filled up. I can't fit anything, anything else in here. It's just, it's full. It's done. Uh, so we move on, moving on down to here. Uh, if you saw my Ant-Man Collector Core unboxing thing, we got these two dudes. They're new. I had to move Superior Issue 6, or Superior Volume 6 here, because he didn't fit on the top shelf anymore. He was up there. Um, and I, I added these. Uh, they used it used to be a force number one and planet hulk number one but i changed them out a couple weeks ago or i think it was last week when i got these in that's the ant-man issue five collector core variant and the little giant size little marvel avx uh issue two cover um and then i'm not sure what all is new here so i think ultron used to be up top next to slime i don't even know if i had the age of ultron box then but now i do this is also new this is like just recent i just put a light in there just so you can see it better. Um, moving on down to this shelf. None of the books have changed. The wand is still there. We've got these exclusive um, Ant-Man pops from the from the uh, Ant-Man box, collector core box. So we've got Scott Lang without his helmet and little tiny Ant-Man pop. So that's cool. Moving on down here. I don't remember if these guys were here. These amiibo, the Link and Zelda amiibo. But if they weren't, they're fun. Uh, all of the rest of this is there, I think. There's like a Star Wars, new Star Wars book there, I think. But none of this has changed. That's all mugs that were there before. Um, what else? Oh, so this is what I'll be talking about later. All the Ultimate Spider-Man junk. Um, I think last time I did the room tour, um, I had the, uh, I had the, uh, I'm drawing a blank. I had the first half of these, and I went and got the second half. Let's turn this light on so you can see better. Um, but now I have the second half of those, so that's what those are, and I will be talking about that in a little bit. But let's move on down to Funky Town. Um, this is new. I think the Iron Man Shrine was here last time. If it wasn't, then this is the Iron Man Shrine. It's got the Hulkbuster pop, the uh, Avengers pop, Avengers Iron Man pop, and the Age of Ultron Mark 43 pop. Um, and then we've got the Ocarina, uh, Mass Effect, some trophies, uh, that, Iron Man 3 poster was there, bunch of stuff, um, oh, here, this is new, I got the Majora's Mask new 3DS, somebody was selling it on Craigslist for cheap, so I bought it, yeah, I'm not gonna show you what's in front of me right now, cause there's spoilers on it, alright, oh, I guess I could show you the, uh, this came in a different unboxing thing, it's a little Batman doodle-doo. Um, but this is, this is the big thing. This right here is the big thing right here. <laughs> so, I got two shelves in. I put, I just put these up, like, literally an hour ago. And they're awesome. So, the reason I wanted more shelves is because of all the Ultimate Spider-Man stuff. Because I had no room for them. So, the reason all of those over there, by the way, the reason all those, zoom in like an amateur. Ah, jeez. Um... They're all over there. That's my stack of not red, and it's all Ultimate Spider-Man. So, this is the one that I've read. And there's also the one over there, the big one, the first omnibus over there that I also have read, but it's not over here. So, we've got that, and that's the volume four. The, these are actually the deluxe editions. They're not, they're not being sold anymore, I don't think. If they are, they're really expensive. They originally retailed for 30 bucks. And it, it has two, basically two volumes of Ultimate Spider-Man. And a guy was selling them on Craigslist as a whole for a bunch of money, but if you broke it down, they were around 20 bucks a piece, and I'm pretty sure now they're going on eBay for around 100 So it was a really good deal. 
And also, the first few are signed by Bendis. So that's cool too. I don't really care about signatures, but it was kind of thrown in. So this one's signed by Bendis. I'm not going to pull it out and open it though. And then I decided to just put all of my game cases here. All the ones that I could find. I promise you, almost all of these don't have games in them because I have separate because I've never had a, a place to store my games before, so they're just empty cases, but it looked empty with just the one Ultimate Spider-Man book there, so I decided to put all this stuff here. Um, and I've also just kind of decorated around with, I used to collect the uh, Pokemon plush, so I've got two Cyndaquils, long story, um, Totodile, Umbreon, Lucario, Mewtwo, most of these are favorite Pokemon, my Ocarina of Time, Sweet Potato Ocarina, there's more games back there, but you can't really see them because of me too. Um, and then down here, you've got the Ant-Man Collector Core box, uh, Ho and Lugia. Um, this this is my old 3DS. It's the X and Y Blue 3DS XL. It's just here because I'm trying to sell it on Amazon, but no one's bought it. So, um, and then there's an Entei, and then this this is cool. This is the uh, it's the Marvel Phase One. Collector digital, not digital. It's the collector set, I guess. Um, yeah, and it's got all the movies in Blu-ray, 3D, and normal for Phase One, and a bunch of goodies in there. And there's like a a toy tesseract in there, which is why it lights up if you press the button on the top. So that's cool. Um, and eventually, since this is pretty much done already with all the game cases, I'm just probably gonna eventually move some of the game cases down here move the collector core box somewhere else so I can have room for more of the books. So yeah. That's that. This actually ran a little longer than I thought it was going to, so I'm not going to talk about Ultimate Spider-Man. Basically all I wanted to say about it was just I'm liking it and it's an awesome series and I have a lot to read through. Um, so yeah, I, I would would have gone more in depth with it, but uh, so far it's great. I've read the first 50 or so issues um because i've read the first however many are in the first omnibus and the first digital or not digital the first deluxe edition so yeah thanks for watching my camera is about to run out of uh battery not battery it's about to run out of space so that's why i'm gonna stop it here but thanks for watching uh see you later